This is a video presentation of office-based intraosseous infiltrations of PRGF in knee osteoarthritis. Description of technique. After blood extraction, the patient is placed on the operating table in the supine position. The first step consists of drawing the articular line, the tibial plateau and the femoral condyle with ultrasound guidance. Anesthesia is performed according to the Wallant technique. The injection procedure is known as hole-in-one anesthesia. We start with the tibial plateau by placing the needle on the skin landmark drawn as insertion point and inject the first 2 to 3 milliliters under the skin very slowly. Then we reinsert the needle through tissue already anaesthetized and administer 3 to 4 milliliters of the solution in a star manner by angling the needle appropriately and moving it very little. Injecting another 3 to 4 milliliters deeper with each piercing until making contact with the periosteum, where we deliver another 2 milliliters. Similarly, the infiltration of the anesthesia is performed at the femoral condyle entry point, following the same hole in one approach as for the tibial plateau. Now we can begin the infiltration of plasma rich in growth factors, PRGF, Enderet, a leukocyte free PRP with a moderate concentration of platelets. The first step is the intraarticular infiltration of 8 milliliters of freshly activated PRGF using the parapatella external approach. It is important to wait at least 30 minutes between the local anesthesia injection and the intraosseous infiltrations. The first step is to assess the effectiveness of the anesthesia by palpating the area before drilling the tibial plateau and asking the patient if he feels anything. The whole procedure is performed under ultrasound guidance. We first address the tibial plateau by placing the tip of a 15G trocar biopsy needle system on the tibial entry mark point. We advance the trocar making sure by using the US image that the trocar is placed 2 cm distal to the articular line with an inclination of 45 degrees and 1.5 centimeters deep into the bone. Subsequently, the power driver is removed, the needle core pulled out, and two milliliters of recently activated PRGF fraction two is infiltrated gradually through the trocar. Finally, the needle core is inserted into the trocar, adjusted to the power driver and the trocar removed. The next step is to proceed with intraosseous infiltration of PRGF into the femoral condyle. The efficacy of the anesthesia has already been observed previously, so we can proceed to place the tip of the trocar biopsy needle system at the entry mark point, 2 cm proximal to the articular line with an inclination of 30 degrees. We then advance the trocar 1.5 cm deep into the subchondral femoral bone by using the US image. Next, the power driver is removed and the needle core extracted. and 2 milliliters of recently activated PRGF fraction 2 is infiltrated gradually through the trocar. Then and after inserting the needle core into the trocar and adjusting it to the power driver, the trocar is extracted. In this way, the procedure is finished and the patient can immediately stand up from the operating table and start walking without any problem.